I'm very pleased to see that my good friend, Mayor Bowser, is wearing her Trinity purple and gold today. Thank you, Mayor Bowser. Mayor Bowser and I were just up at her alma mater, Chatham University, where she received an honorary doctorate of public service and gave a fabulous commencement address. And she is just wonderful. She's our great leader. I am very pleased to introduce one of Trinity's finest, Ms. Erin Washington, who is a member of the class of 2017 and a resident of the District of Columbia who's going to introduce Mayor Bowser. And also, I see our alumnus here, Council Member Brandon Todd, who's a Trinity graduate, class of 2005 MBA program. So Ms. Washington is going to introduce the mayor and Council Member Todd, and we'll ask Council Member Todd to come up right after Mayor Bowser. I am so pleased to extend the great thanks of the student body to Ms. Payton and all of the benefactors, builders, and everyone who made this new academic center possible. We know that the leadership of our city played a large role in supporting Trinity's plan to build this excellent new academic center. And it's an asset for our city. We are delighted to greet Mayor Muriel Bowser, whose leadership on behalf of our city is outstanding. We are also pleased to recognize and thank Council Member Kenyon McDuffie, who is a great leader for Trinity and all the people in Ward 5. And we are especially pleased that our own alumnus, Brandon Todd, MBA class of 2009, and council member from Ward 4 could be later on with us in this program. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Bowser to the podium, and then council member McDuffie will follow the mayor as well as Brandon Todd. Thank you so much. Well, good morning, Trinity University. What a wonderful occasion. Eminence is always wonderful to be in your presence and hear your great words about how you advance Catholic teaching and education uh, for our archdiocese. Thank you. And to your wonderful president, Pat McGuire, what a force, uh, what a force. Not only here at Trinity, uh, but in education and business for our city and this region, she's a fantastic leader. And when we were together at Chatham University, where she also received an honorary degree, another one to add to, to her, uh, her accolades and much deserved, uh, we were able to speak to that graduating class and I was also able to hear from people in education what Pat has meant uh, to forging a path for women's colleges around this country. And she really deserves um, our thanks for what she is able to do here at Trinity. She also has my appreciation because she set the, the, the fork in the road, in the ground, and said that Trinity would reach out to Washington, D.C. So when you come to this campus, you will find students from D.C.'s public schools. And that wasn't always the case. We're very proud of her work. And we're very proud to deliver students right here in their hometown who will be educated in the liberal arts and will be able to give back uh, to our city. Uh, and I say that because I have experience with one such Trinity graduate, uh, and that's Brandon Todd. Um, when Brandon came to work for the residents of Ward 4 in my office, uh, he said, you know, council, uh, count, I was council member for Ward 4, then he said, council member, I really want to take this opportunity, but I have to tell you something. I said, well, what's that, Brandon? He says, well, I'm in graduate school. Uh, and I'm going to finish and work for the residents of Ward 4. And that's exactly what he did. Uh, so let me thank everybody here, certainly uh, the Payton family for their wonderful and generous contributions to Trinity. This academic building says that President McGuire, all the board members and trustees, the students and faculty want to be here in Washington, D.C., educating students from our city, our region, 
region and around the world for years to come. And I'm very, very proud uh, that you had the vision not only to conceive it, but to do it, uh, and so that the students will be able to take advantage of it. So you have my appreciation on behalf of all the 700,000 residents of Washington, D.C. Uh, and I, I usually end by saying the 700,000 residents of the best city in the world, but now I say of the 51st state in the <laughs> union. Thank you. Good morning, Trinity Washington University. I'm really delighted to be here this morning on behalf of the 80,000 residents of Ward 4 that I represent on the DC Council, uh, as well as the class of 2009 Master of Business Administration. So I'm one of the few good men uh, from Trinity Washington <laughs> University. And it's always delightful to be here with my good friend, the mayor of the greatest city in the soon to be 51st state uh, in the District of Columbia. And she looks great in her purple and gold. Let's give our mayor a big round of applause. And thank you to President McGuire, who really is a, a leading force in academia across the city, who does a great job at representing uh, this university. Shortly after I was elected to the council, I came and sat with her and her leadership team to talk about uh, how we can be more involved with one another. So give your fearless leader a big round of applause. Yeah. And I heard it referenced many times earlier. I'm just pleased to be here to, to cut the ribbon, to help cut the ribbon uh, on the Joan, which is a pretty phenomenal uh, building behind us. And I know that Trinity men and women uh, will use it for many years to come. So I'm really blessed to be here and with the Cardinal and so many wonderful people. Thank you, everybody, and God bless you. <laughs> 